This is a quick tour of how you can get started with creating your first chatbot using TARS. Once you are in the dashboard, you'll be able to choose to create a chatbot from any of the existing chatbot templates defined by industries, or you can wish to create from scratch by clicking on Create a Chatbot. Give your chatbot a name and you are good to go. You will now be in your chatbot canvas, and this is where you are going to create your chat flow. The first step is to click on Add Gambit. Gambit means one single back and forth conversation between the bot and user. Now that you have created your first Gambit, it's time to add the messaging that will go in the chat flow. First off, click on the Gambit, the box that opens up a window called the modal where you can see the messages that the bot will send the user and the input options that the user has to respond to the bot. Under the bot messages heading, the bubbles you see here are the actual messaging bubbles that go in the bot. You can simply add the questions or statements here. At the bottom right of the bot messages section, there is a blue drop-down menu in which creators can choose how users can respond to these messages. In the TARS bot builder, we have several different ways to receive input from users. These range from standard text input to prefixed reply inputs like buttons, cards, custom lists, and custom input specific UI like calendar, file upload, rating, and geolocation. Once you are done with the first gambit, add more gambits. A series of gambits makes a conversation and you will have to join one gambit to the other for the conversation to flow. Branching allows the chatbot creators to redirect the conversation flow based on the button the user selects. Once you are done creating the whole chat flow, it's time to end the conversation. To do this, you need to select the Auto Page Redirection option from the drop-down menu. You will be able to set a page to which the user will be redirected and a delay before which the loading begins. Leave the URL field blank and no redirection will happen, the bot will just end. Now that you can create have the whole chat flow, you need to be able to use the bot, right? Go ahead and click the Publish Chatbot button in the top right. You will have to click on the Publish Chatbot button as and when you make changes in the chat flow. Once you have clicked on the Publish Chatbot button, test out your chatbot by clicking on Launch Landing Page. As you might know, TARS chatbots generally look like this, but you can change the design according to your liking. To do that, open up a bot that you have already built and look at the left side of the page for the Design tab. Click on it and you will see a bot displayed along with a series of colored themes and options next to it. You can either pick one of the theme from the presets or customize according to your liking. TARS chatbots allow you to change the colors, backgrounds, font style, font color, and font size according to your liking on your fingertips to the point where your imagination might be the only limitation. You can also edit how the chatbot widget will look like to your users, along with the call-out message bubble to attract them. Widget can be positioned according to your liking. Once you are done, simply save your progress by clicking on the Save button and publish to see your masterpiece in action. Check Data is the section where you get to view and export all the conversations users are having with your bot. All the chats will be displayed one below the other. One chat is for one particular user session. Additionally, you can toggle between full and partial data to evaluate user submissions coming through the chatbot. When a user completes the whole chat, it will be showed in the full data section. On the other hand, Partial data will allow you to know where users are dropping off and optimize the chatbot flow accordingly. While exporting this data into a CSV file, you can select what all fields you'd like to have and what all you'd like to skip. In integration section, using integration like Zapier, HubSpot, Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and Google Tag Manager, you can send the data collected via TARS chatbot to other apps you frequently use. You can send the chat response as a message on Slack channel, create a card on Trello, update a Google Sheet, send lead data to your favorite CRM, and much more.
Once you have created a chatbot and users have started interacting with it, you would want to know things like how many users are landing on the bot, how many are chatting with it, how many of these users are doing desired actions like sharing their phone number, etc. To help you with all of this, we have released a new feature which will enable you get an overview of the interactions and conversions happening in your bots. It's called Data Analyze section. To check it, just click on Analyze under Check Data menu. And here is how it looks like. You will also notice on the left side of the panel, there is an additional configuration for the analytics section called Timeline Graph. Selecting this configuration reveals a graphical representation of the same conversational metrics over time. This is useful for in testing as you can observe how changes made to your chatbot affect your conversion rate. Configure section is where you set up page level configurations for your bot. You can configure options like chatbot title that will be displayed in your bot canvas. Account subdomain will let you change the word chatbot with any word of your choice. Page title is the meta title of your chatbot link. The same title would appear when you share the link on Facebook, WhatsApp, or any other channel. Favicon is the image you see in your browser tab next to the page title. You can simply upload your favorite image. Meta image is the image that will appear when you share the TARS chatbot link with someone via WhatsApp, Facebook, or any other social channel. In email notification section, email subject for notifications is the subject of the email notification for each complete chat conversation. List email IDs for email notifications lets you set the email addresses on which you want to receive these notifications. You will also find the goals settings for your chatbot that you want to achieve in the configure section. Now, once that you're done creating your chatbot, you would want to share it with the world, right? You can do that via the distribute section. You can do that either via sharing the chatbot link, adding the chatbot widget to your website, hosting your website on custom URL of your choice, or publishing chatbot on a WhatsApp number. To use chatbots in your own organization, Book a free chatbot consultation at hellotars.com slash demo, or click the link in the video description. Again, that's hellotars.com slash demo.